Hello everyone and welcome back to my video. Hello guys. I am right now in front of ODME. As you know ODME is very important for our tanker operation which is oil discharge monitoring equipment and the model is KSBS 3000. So in this video I am going to show you step by step operation of how to do the simulation test of this kind of ODME. So I, and to show you the simulation test, step one is to go to pump room or wherever is the location for your vessel to open all the related valves. So let's go to pump room in our vessel. There are five valves I need to open. Number one, number two, number three, this one. Number four is this one. And this is the processing unit where it processes the data and allow the teachers or it restricts the teachers. Now let us get back to the CCR where my ODME control panel or operating panel is there and I will show you from there how to do the rest of the operation. Now our part is to operate from the operating panel. Let's switch on. So you can see it is already switched on and showing the time, date and time and the dashboard is like this. Okay, let's check the date and time first okay date is okay time is also okay this is utc time okay next we need to go to flow meter second one is sample point we don't need to change anything go to flow meter flow meter point we want to manually change the flow meter go to manual then ok press ok to change the value and we will put the value 93 this is 94 sorry 94 this value is guided by the odme s3000 manual so this setting is basically a predetermined setting but you can change or you can do with any other setting that is within the limit as you know the limit is 30 liter per nautical mile for teachers so press ok for this setting so flow meter setting is already done then we have to go to ppm under ppm you have to go to manual go and ppm we will select it up to 950 okay up to 1000 ppm is allowed so i will put nine five zero again this setting is as per the odme 3000 guidelines for the simulation test press ok now we will select the speed the next one below here let's go and then manual three we need to put the value three naught again this value is guided by the manual that must is our setting now we have to close the monitor for this we don't need to change any any of this item total oil limit reset total oil gps type of cargo we basically need to go to operating mode now okay we go to operating mode press ok and then we need to check on the monitoring mode Monitoring mode is the perfect or correct mode to test the simulation. Okay, once you go to monitoring mode, press OK. Then we have we have to proceed for the simulation test. Save and then close. Now it is going to simulate. You can see overboard valve is closed, so it will open. Discharge prohibit and it will allow to it will allow the discharge then it will allow 
the valve to open and this is how the simulation test will be carried out so let's check when it this valve becomes open it is calculating for the input data as we have input in manually you see the valve is open overboard valve open now we will go and quickly check whether the valve is open or not come so you can see this valve is open now and this is the return this line is coming from the swap tank and it is either going back to swap tank through this valve or it is going to this discharge line and you can see this valve is in discharge mode right now it is open it means it is allowing to discharge and it does not allow to return to the slope tank this is the return line to the slope tank so let's go to ccr and as we have shown you the valve opening condition and still it is open and you can see discharge permitted here it is written discharge permitted it means in the simulation mode it is showing that your discharge is permitted and this is the input data you can see here flow rate as we have input 94 cubic per meter per hour flow rate you can see as we have input 94 cubic per hour ship speed is 3 knot we have input and this, so in this video we understood that this valve will remain open and will show here discharge permitted that's the simulation of uh, ODME whether this overboard valve is automatically open with the correct setting or not well, so we understood so far that with the manual setting uh, we can show that the simulation is working and if your vessels uh, ODME is functioning correctly then it will show the same way it is shown here now we have to make sure that with the wrong setting manually we can show with the wrong setting it will be uh, coming it the, it will show the alarm and the discharge will be prohibited here will be written discharge prohibited and the return valve will open that means this valve will close so let's change the configuration we will change the flow meter point press ok we will change this flow data now 1001 that means more than 1000 so let's go ok flow meter point already changed now go to operating mode again okay monitoring mode okay then proceed save and close the alarm has come flow exceeded the minimum value or the permitted value flow range exceeded and this valve will be automatically closed you will you'll be able to see that this valve will be closed it's just prohibited and within short time this valve will also show that it is closed you see it is closed now okay that's how you can do the test and we will show you the valve is already closed practically or not now uh, let me show you whether this valve is closed or not you can see it is now in closed position and this return is open so from the uh, slope swap tanks it is coming like this and it cannot go anymore to this discharge line it will get back to the tank again through this line and this valve is open return line valve is open you can see it will go from here to the slope tank again here down below okay that's it we are right now on top of the slope tanks of this vessel and we understood that the simulation test is satisfactory completed thank you so much for watching this video and hope to see you in next video for more videos subscribe sailor 360 and stay connected